What up guys, Monk7 Mad here, and today we're going to be doing a nice, another colour correction, and another free download at the end. Now today I'm also going to be warning you about some up and coming stuff on the channel, so that you can look out for all of that stuff. So we're going to be doing, with After Effects tutorials, we're going to be working with, well we could be working with making an introduction, which is one of my plans. I've got a few other bits and pieces for making things with optical flares, like uh, the intro I recently made that uh, some of you may or may have not seen. What I'll do is I'll put it in the description below. I'll, uh, I'll just use this bit of footage again. I may have used it before, but uh, well, it, it works alright for uh, colour corrections. So we'll just sort of keep it around about here. Okay. So as always, it's going to work on the basis that we use Magic Bullet Looks. If you don't have Magic Bullet Looks, go and have a look for it on YouTube. There are people that do um, have download links. Unfortunately, that person is not me. So I do apologise. And I'm also going to be warning you about the colour correction pack that I'll be releasing pretty soon. I made one before with quite a few of these in. And I've been going through and improving a few of them to make it a little bit nicer. And I just want to get a couple more done, and I can release a slightly bigger pack than before. Okay, so the first thing we're actually going to work with today <clears throat> is going to be our curves, and I always like using curves. It's the same with Photoshop. Actually, speaking of Photoshop, that does remind me uh, whether there be any tutorials that you'd be interested in seeing on Photoshop. I've been using it quite a lot before doing things on YouTube, so I can do quite a bit here and there. It's uh, just uh, an idea that I'm putting out there. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just made two curves layers. One which adjusts the overall colour with contrast. And the other one which goes into individual layers. So the red, green, blue. I've put more or less the same, just adding a little bit of contrast to it. And this time we're actually going to make it bright. The last one we did was actually quite uh, blue and, and sort of drab and almost electric-like, I suppose. Although it probably isn't now I think about it. But we'll do a nice, much more brighter one. So we're just going to drag on the diffusion to give us a nice sort of soft glow. And what we'll do is actually change the grade up a bit to just 5. Let's type it in manually because otherwise I will go way overboard. And I'm actually going to just add 5 more to the highlights only. So we'll make it 80. Now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our tool section. We're going to have a little looky loo for a nice and warm colour filter and we're going to drag that on. And the only thing we're actually going to do is we're just going to bring it just uh, just into the sort of whiter yellow area just to give it a little bit. The colour filter you can see, if you can see that, is it's very faint. Maybe we'll just turn it down just a little bit. And we'll add a half to our exposure. So it's 0 0.50. Right, so we've got a little bit of light over here. And what we can do is, with this sort of video clip, for montages and stuff, you can add a lot of things like optical flares, which is something I do hope to go into. And optical flares are fantastic. They they really do sort of expand the, the quality of a video. Right, I'm just going to a quick experiment, see if this works okay. If it does, then I will uh, explain to you. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, what I've done is I've basically just gone over to the tool section and I've added on a gradient. Now, what I've done with the gradient is I've actually expanded the length of it so that it's softer down the bottom. You could also change the fall off, but uh, I also quite like doing it like this. And I've just moved it up a bit, and I've also tilted it slightly, just so that the blue that I've changed the colour to takes over the sky position here. And it just brings the whole image up. Because when you when you sort of get footage from something like HDPVR or Dazzle, it sometimes can lose a bit of the quality of colour. So we'll just add a nice little bit in there. Right, where it is these... There we go, saturation. We're going to drag the saturation and we're going to drag it onto the subject. And what this will allow us to do 
this will actually edit the entire video clip sometimes when you place it in different locations it has a different effect I will try and demonstrate that in a minute if I can just going to uh, bring the bar up a bit on the saturation okay doesn't look like it's doing too much at the moment but it's all part of that really subtle sort of nice build up and again we're going to use one of my favorite color correction tools and that's the telescene net and that's in the post section we we'll drag that on and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the strength down to about 50 percent and we'll change the size down as well to about three and a half three point six Actually, no, let's keep it at 5. I'll change my mind. Let's keep that around about 5. Not 51, like 5. And we'll just change the exposure compensation down to 0 0.50. And that just gives it a bit of light over here. And now we can add the main sort of brightening. And we can either do this two ways. We could do this through either exposure and we could do it as a whole image or we can do gradual exposure if I was to do it like this for example we'll just push the stops up to so let's let's just knock it up to one for a minute no not ten sorry alright to one now it's a lot brighter and now in this section over here would be a perfect place for an optical flare sometimes adding a bit of light behind it makes the optical flare look more realistic which is obviously a good sign now, this is the sort of section where I can say to you, it's it's a very simple thing where you can either do an edge softness or you can just sort of leave without it. It's depending on what sort of quality of clip you're going for, what sort of style you're going for. And we can add other things to this, like uh, have a quick looky-loo. We could add some chromatic abrasion, that'd be quite good. We could add some spot exposure on the gun. I think I do this with most magic bullet clips. Just make sure that I've got light on the uh, actual gun here. 0 0.7 is the one that I've got on the screen. We could do a bit of lift at gamma gain. And we could change the gamma gain up to a different colour. To give it a different effect, which is quite interesting. That's sort of a, a hell-like appearance. If we pull it down towards the green, it's looking a bit more... Hmm. Okay, well, let's put that one on a blue. And let's bring this down a bit. And we keep it around about the bottom of this section because we just want that bit of colour around here. And you can always boost the colour of other things. So, if you can. Uh, this is, like I say, just a sort of experimental section. So, if we have. In fact, let's just pull the brightness on this up just a little bit on both of these actually Ooh. not that much there okay and what we'll do finally is we're just gonna add actually let's just change the spot exposure on this instead of adding another one so let's put it at 1.7 see how that looks that's too much okay it's time to tune it down a little we need to do is we actually need to bring this in a bit and we'll expand that out a bit as well and we'll add some more fall off to it no oh, no we don't want to do that we want to take the fall off down the other way no it's just too bright we need to uh put it around one's quite nice we can always add another one if you like. We could actually add another grad exposure if you like. Just turn it up the other way around. In fact, this is this is annoying. That would annoy me quite a lot. If we bring the center in, it actually smooths the edges off a bit. So we'll do that, and we'll just bring this down a tad, and we'll just push this up only a little bit. We don't want to go too drastic. move that to one I think okay that's uh, that's looking oops don't want to turn that off let's keep that back on 
<laughs> Fall off, that's what we want to look for. I'll see on the wrong one. Ah. Oh. Never mind. And you can you can sort of muck around and make sure it sort of fits your gun. In fact, if you pull it out a bit and have the cir cir mm, the smaller circle in the centre section, then it would actually just f sort of fade into the rest. And since we just added this little grad exposure at the bottom here, it sort of adjusts quite well. And because the top of the screen was quite bright anyway, it uh, it looks quite good. So it's actually quite a nice little. Um, let's just put that to fit. So that's quite a nice little colour correction actually. So I'll, uh, I'll save this and I'll put the link in the description below. Just save this as test for me. Alright, let's save. Oh, okay. I must have uh, shut it off by mistake. What a nuisance. Okay, just bring that back up. It's actually quite handy. I save that now. All right, so we're gonna go and just uh, save the look, and I will name it Tutorial Two Three. All right, so. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you'd like to see another colour correction tutorial or you're interested in something else regarding After Effects, Sony Vegas or Photoshop, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Leave a like if you found this useful or if you enjoy the colour correction. If you have any of your own colour corrections that you'd like to either send over to try out on some video clips or vice versa, you want me to send you some so you can try them out. Again, let me know or personal message me, so thanks, take care, have a great day and uh, I'll see you guys later, peace out.